Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. The 2020 election... Everybody's excited. You know why, John? It's because the 2020 election is finally underway. It's gone. Yeah. Today was the New Hampshire primary. Mm. So after a year of campaigning, we only have nine months to go. <laughs> I'll give you all the latest in tonight's edition of... I have a plan for that. A progressive agenda. You're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. I think they will end up being the losers. Yuri Rose to the White House 2020. Winter scary! Now, Steyer is cut, man. Steyer is good at... He got cut. Now, we taped the show before the polls closed today, so we don't know who won in New Hampshire or Iowa. But... <laughs> We know the results from the midnight primaries held in towns like Dixville Notch. Mm. Dixville Notch, of course, a tiny hamlet on the border of Taint Town Trench, <laughs> next to Grundleton Penis Township and Munchbutt Canyon. The Dixville Notch primary had uh, MSNBC's Brian Williams pretty excited. As we watch this, this will be like an athletic event. We can do color commentary. First of all, we need to establish that northern New England is staggeringly and beautiful and that there are portions of northern New Hampshire where moose way outnumber so people, as it should be. As it should be? That's a little odd, but it explains this sign-off for MSNBC. I'm Brian Williams. Bow before our moose masters, you human scum. Good night. <laughs> Dixville Notch had a surprise winner. Former New York mayor Michael Bloomberg seen here stopping and frisking little bunny Fufu. <laughs> oh, snap. Gotta stop and frisk him. He's bopping those field mice on the head. Mm. Bloomberg won Dixville in a landslide, but that's not saying much, given that the town has only five residents. <laughs> five. He used his overwhelming cast advantage to buying targeted advertising, like, Kevin, vote for me. I'll make sure Carol comes back. <laughs> and this one, Carol, vote for me. I promise to keep Kevin away. <laughs> the other big midnight winner was Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar, seen here doing a tight five at the potluck. <laughs> Even though Bloomberg snagged Dixville Notch, when the three midnight primaries, Dixville Notch, Hart's Location, and Millsfield were tallied together, Klobuchar had won the most votes with a whopping total of eight. Or as Joe Biden put it, wow, eight, that reminds me of the number of years I spent in the White House with Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> worth it. Totally worth it. Of course, the vice president's not doing all that well in the Granite State. Before the votes were even counted tonight, Biden and his wife flew out to a South Carolina launch party doesn't exactly sound confident. Mm. Looks like a guy at his wedding saying, to love, honor, and cherish till death do us part. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a date. <laughs> okay. On the eve... Hello. On the eve <laughs> of the Democratic primary, President Trump held a rally in Manchester, New Hampshire, because he couldn't stand the idea of other people getting any attention. <laughs> and while he was up there, he took some time to complain about House Speaker Nancy Pelosi... On Tuesday, I delivered my address on the State of the Union. And I had somebody behind me who was mumbling terribly. Mumbling. Mumbling. Wah, wah, ho, ha. Huh. I was really late on that. <laughs> but I gotta ask, have I been using the word mumbling incorrectly? She was mumbling, oh, ha, oh, ha. <laughs> she was stuttering, swish, 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 swish. <laughs> and worst of all, she kept whistling, cha, 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 cha. Now, Trump, Trump took time to tell the people of nearby Concord how much he loves Concord. Concord, Concord, I love Concord. I love Concord. Oh, Concord. You know how famous Concord is? Concord. That's the same Concord that we read about all the time, right? Concord. I love Concord. First of all, you do not read any of the time. 
Second, no, that is not that same Concord. That Concord is in Massachusetts. <laughs> oh, Concord, I love Concord. Your city once fought the Redcoats with a supersonic jet. That could make the trip from New York to London in record time. Oh, Concord, I love your grape juice. Concord, I love you. Speaking of things that he loves, speaking of things that he actually loves, Trump introduced a very special guest. Also a woman that not too many people know. Very powerful, very smart, very beautiful, even though I'm not allowed to say that because she's my daughter, Ivanka. Wow. That's weird. <laughs> he says he's not allowed to say it, and he knows why he's not allowed to say it, because of all the other creepy ways he has said it. But then he says it anyway. He'd be terrible in a horror movie. Okay, I'm not allowed to say Candyman five times in a mirror, <laughs> but Candyman, 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 Candyman. Oh, hi, Candyman. Hey. <laughs> Looking good. You up for a threesome? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Come on, the three. Come on. Come on. Take the hook off your hand because we gotta. Fine family joke. You know, sometimes you feel like Donald Trump is corrupting all of the democratic institutions that we hold dear. Well, I've got some good news for you. You're not crazy to feel that way. And the latest example is the case of Trump crony and man voted best dressed at Nuremberg, Roger Stone. <laughs> Last year, whoa, whoa. a lot of Stone fans whoa. here tonight. Last year, whoa. Stone was convicted of seven felonies, including lying under oath, forging documents, engaging in a relentless and elaborate campaign to silence a witness by threatening bodily harm, and by the looks of him, I'm going to say attempting to turn Gotham City's water supply into marmalade. <laughs> These. These mm. are all serious crimes. Stone faced a maximum penalty of 50 years in prison, but prosecutors asked for a sentence of just seven to nine years. We have a computer projection of what Roger Stone will look like in nine years. There, <laughs> there you go. No. But these prosecutors, even that lighter sentence did not sit well with Stone's old pal Donald Trump, who tweeted, this is a horrible and very unfair situation. Real crimes were on the other side, as nothing happens to them. Cannot allow this miscarriage of justice. I don't understand why Donald Trump is so bent out of shape about Stone going to jail. All Stone needs to get out is to roll doubles. <laughs> okay? Or pay 50 bucks. <laughs> go to free parking. Do not pass go. Then, by some impossible coincidence, how could it be? It was then announced that the Justice Department will take the extraordinary step of lowering the recommended prison time for Roger Stone. So, that was the one I was looking for earlier, by the way. <laughs> so, Donald Trump and his attorney general are using the Justice Department to go easy on his cronies. The only difference between this and a banana republic is that Trump does not eat fruit. <laughs> Trump was asked about the Stone case today in the White House, but first he showed off a little project he's been working on. We have four trillion dollar companies. One is Microsoft, one is Apple, one is Google, one is Amazon. So you have Amazon, Google, Apple, and Microsoft. And so you have an M, you have an A, you have a G, and you have an A. You have MAGA. MAGA. No, somebody... <laughs> no, 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 no. Less fair's fair. He's right. You do get that. And if you rearrange the letters in the name Donald Trump, they spell Plod Turdman. <laughs> it's, it's just as true. It's just as true. I want that on a red hat. Regarding the Stone sentencing, Trump insisted he didn't make any special requests. I'd be able to do it if I wanted. I have the absolute right to do it. Uh, I stay out of things uh, to a degree that people wouldn't believe. You're right, I wouldn't believe. The <laughs> only things you stay out of are books, salad bar lines, and shoes that have to be laced up. <laughs> In response to Trump's carriage of misjustice, all four of Roger Stone's prosecutors have resigned. That's right, they all walked. 
It must not have been easy for them to find the exit since Bill Barr has relocated the DOJ up Trump's ass. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.